The stage is set here at Wembley, a sea of fans beginning to descend upon the stadium for what ought to be a riveting Carabao Cup final. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. This is the time when the talking has to stop and the action finally begins. A warm welcome to Wembley from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're just seconds away from kickoff time in what promises to be a wonderful Carabao Cup final. It is Manchester City up against Aston Villa. What a chance for one of these teams to get their hands on silverware. And over the years, we've seen some great League Cup finals. Let's hope today matches up to some of those occasions. Really looking forward to this one, Derek. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Bernardo Silva plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the pitch. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Coutinho plays with Leon Bailey in the wide areas. And the striker of choice today is Danny Ings. And now they get the ball rolling. Holland. Foden. A City free kick forthcoming. Well, no card from the referee, Stuart. Well, I think it's good refereeing. He's just letting everybody know who's in charge here. Firing it towards goal! And that was a free kick hit with genuine authority. Well, you have to say that's a really good strike. Had that been on target, the keeper might have had a problem. Well, if you're the opposing defender, you've really got to keep a weather eye on Erling Haaland. What are you expecting to see from him in this game, Stuart? Oh, Derek, big moment here. Absolutely spot on with that challenge. So, a corner here. And now the delivery. That's fine goalkeeping to hold on to the corner. It's going to be a City ball. Good-looking sequence. Holland can he put them in front and a goal for Manchester City they forge ahead in this final let's see what it means in the grand scheme of things well he puts it away really well as you can see but you'd expect him to score from that range but they all count
Well, back underway, and 1 0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Grealish. Can he take the chance? And the referee says penalty. And the goalkeeper sees yellow for his intervention on that occasion. To make it 2 0. And he slots it home with confidence. Well, here's the replay, and the goalkeeper dives early, and that's why he goes straight down the middle. What a good penalty. Watch the goalkeeper all the way. Excellent. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Well, as the stats confirm, City have controlled the ball, and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football, and they look like scoring more. Coutinho. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Holland, And he's in. Well, he was on his own. He had the goalkeeper to beat, but failed to do so. Well, he just needed to show a bit more composure there. Take a little bit off the shot, I think. Get past his man. Danny Ings! And still danger here. Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Could pull one back here, and a fine stop. And he's fired over the corner, and using his body to good effect. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Aston Villa will get the throw in. Ings giving it a try. And a bad pass it was. Ings. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Can he put it in? And keeping it out. <laughs> Playing it in. Well, here it is again, and it's certainly a training ground routine. It still has to be executed properly, though, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. Away they go again. Second half is underway here.
John McGinn read it superbly to take back possession Holland and he takes it away Foden the attack continues they're making considerable progress Grealish magnificent defending counter-attacking very much an option and they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move Holland Foden didn't fall the keeper Kevin De Bruyne with the corner on the corner too close to the goalkeeper that time a City free kick forthcoming De Bruyne De Bruyne now Foden oh the referee has given it penalty it is Is it going to be 3-1? And he slots it home with confidence. Well, here we see it again. And I tell you what, I'm not sure I've ever seen a penalty converted like this before. You thought once the keeper stays still, it was going to be a comfortable save for him. But he has to do better. It's really poor from the goalkeeper. So on with the action. And he's made headway. It's still alive. And top notch as well as brave goalkeeping. Well, he comes off his line at just the right time. He read that brilliantly. Bailey and teammates to play it to Danny Ings chance to make a game of it here oh blocked it Holland the ball with Rodri and De Bruyne in a useful looking position but will there be an end product and read the danger magnificently. Well, if he gets this wrong, a penalty and a sending off, but he was spot on with his challenge. Difficult to stop him. Opportunity! Bailey. Is it going to be? Still a chance. Well, a crucial intervention inside the box. And saved by the keeper. <laughs> It is now a substitution. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. did look dangerous for a moment but the keeper has it now and under pressure that was a fine claim using his strength to shield the ball and just five minutes remaining Foden and a goal kick given Well, they've lost the ball. Oh, in with a chance. And it's there for him. Can they cover up? And it's in! They've eaten into their advantage, and this is...
is not over. Not yet, anyway. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see, but unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really. Neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Substitution for Aston Villa. Grealish. Number 44. Nicely timed tackle. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren. <laughs> 